No! Wait! Ah! Are we meant to be dropping so fast? It's the law of physics! This parachute was only designed for one person! Ah! Ah! Alright, the Pony of Bros, rejoice! Because we are back with yet another very late, I will admit. Episode 2, Deponia Doomsday. I know, it looks bleak. I read the comments, believe me, I see them. Rufus, this is not the time to you be rocking out. I'm trying to talk to the people right now and you're... distracting. I read the comments, I see people going, Where's Doomsday? I'm Deponia. Where's Deponia Doomsday? Uh, where's the next video at? Is he, did he quit it? Did he stop making them? I'm not sure why you all of a sudden have, um, you know, somewhat really terrible New York accents. But apparently that's how I read your comments. You have that accent when I read them. So, don't you worry, I haven't quit on it. I already told you, I'm gonna complete it. It's just one of those things where, after the third of the game, the interest really dipped. So, there's a lot of things ahead of this right now that are, you know, really helping the channel develop. First, you gotta wine and dine the channel before you slip into the pony. Oh my. The one thing I do remember from last time, though, is that we ripped off the back hair from that man that we were just at in the other room. This right here. You could knit a whole carpet out of that, assuming you could get the mothball smell out of it. And, because apparently, I'm not sure what's happened. I, I, I attest it to the year 2020. But, Sam, um, I need to go back. Where the hell do I have to go? <laughs> All these places sound the same to me. Is it the habitat ring? Yes, here it is. Okay, I remember NPCs and certain things we were doing, I just don't remember the floors, okay? But because the year is 2020, I somehow now have good memory when it comes to this game only, apparently, for some reason. But, I recall this couple right here, which I believe I ended up cutting from one of the videos because it didn't seem important at the time, and it hasn't been. But I remember these dudes over here um, having an issue about uh, this fabric stuff and carpeting and all that, whatever, marital issues they have. And I have a sample of back hair, and the reason why we checked the description was because carpet out of you can knit a whole carpet out of body hair, which is very disgusting, but I think we need to give this to them for some reason or another. How about this silverback gorilla hair? Oh yes, that's pretty! Ever so masculine too. So soft. And so classy. Oh, silver is very much in at the moment. It's the new Mo, don't you know? But nonetheless timeless. Then it is decided. <laughs> Finally! Here, keep these samples. We don't need them anymore. Leo Nibral licked. <laughs> Feel somehow fake. Mm -hmm. Sable striped bear. <laughs> Fluffy. Okay, I, I think. I think I know that. Sourpuss leather. Feel somehow fake. So those are fake, but this one's real? Okay, that's that's kinda good. I I think you know what? Prepare to be blown away again. You gotta give me a you gotta give me a minute or two here. I'm I'm actually figuring these things out on the spot, so it should be very impressive to you guys watching when you know the state of my memory. But um I also haven't played in a week or two now, so Need to get comfortable with the flow of things here again. So, you, Scanner, you make the the DNA things, right? Which is how we made that um, lizard earlier. Oh, he's such an amazingly shot. bright human. Beep. Detecting species. Sable striped bear. Updating database and writing to cartridge. <laughs> okay. So you know what? I think we got the pet that we need for that suit. It's a sable striped bear. And I believe that guy was talking about like fluffy stripes or whatever, so that should be it. This is the one that we made from the lizard earlier, right? So what happens if I scan these? Should I scan? Leo I mean I guess. It said they were fake, but whatever. Scanning DNA sample. No species detected. The sample is synthetic. <laughs> nah. Should have known. No. Oh. So it just disappears from your um, inventory. Okay. Well, even if they just disappear, might as well get rid of them. That one shouldn't work either because apparently it's fake. No species detected. Yeah. Well, as long as it's gone, it's fine. Synthetic. 
Another dud. All right, let's go. Scanning DNA sample. Hey, that was my hand. Detecting species. Clown, clone. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Are you calling me a clown clone? Updating database and writing to cartridge. <laughs> oh, what nerve. So you got jokes now, Ronnie? You saying Rufus is a clown? Yeah, I can see it, actually. It makes perfect sense. He scanned me and apparently we're a clown. The genetic code of a humanoid with a red nose, colorful skin, and a funny disposition. <laughs> well, all we really gotta do is just color your nose in. Alright, buddy, I got your pet coming up right now. supposed to be a pet of course are you completely mad that's much too big no one could stroke that take it away <laughs> what if i give you the cloud <laughs> you want the cloud i will give you the cloud oh what's that supposed to be <laughs> a pet of course are you completely mad that's much too big no one could stroke that take it away Oh, believe me, they can stroke it if they look in the right places, is all I'm gonna say. Well, that didn't work. I figured as much, but... Um, he said the same thing when we gave him the lizard last time too, right? Hmm. Jackalope. Oh, right, right! You were the thing that we were supposed to insert cartridges to as well. I just completely forgot about you guys, well... I guess I don't remember everything after all. I imagine again, there would be a tutorial here if the game decided to give me tutorials, but they don't give me tutorials anymore. So, we have cartridge slots, I guess we just insert them? Uh, which one do we start off with? We're, look we're looking for Fluffy, right? Some sort of fluff? Okay, so put that one in first. Okay. So the problem with you is that you're too huge, apparently, right? So we need to shrink you to some degree. I want to keep you in body hair, because you need to be stroked. You should have a smiley face, not an evil face. I guess the build needs to be smaller? Is that right? Okay. Does the color matter? Yellow or purple? Well, you got a good purple color going. Does the extremity matter? Do you, do you need horns? Will the horns matter? Do you think the horns the horns would make it not cute? The teddy bear ears would make it better? Oh, let's try it this way, because the hands do kind of match the legs, so I want to keep them compact. If that makes any sense, so... Okay, let's see if that shrunk him. Oh! What's that supposed to be? A pet, of course. Oh, yes, that's... Just right. It's fluffy, has sable stripes, and isn't too aggressive. <laughs> oh, what a delight. Your boy has done it. All right. So, um, Elder Do, number two. Thank you. Are you good now? I'm Elysian citizen who bears a striking similarity to our clone servants and Inspector Cletus. <laughs> You've made an old man very happy. Does that mean you'll finally come with me to the Council of Elders? Of course, my boy. Just let me know once you've convinced the other two. <laughs> Alright, one down. So I like how Yosa mentioned who has a striking similarity to our clones and Inspector Cletus. Well, that's because we're all related. We are from the same DNA code. <laughs> I knew I had the makings of a successful producer, and I haven't even begun to cancel vacations yet. Okay. So, am I good with you as well? I once and for all demand my audience. I need to speak to them today. And you will receive it. At least I have a grip on the situation here at last. Just tell me when the other two are ready. And until then, I will enjoy my food and drink served in a cozy atmosphere. Yeah, you do that. All right, two down.
<laughs> I don't know about this one, Lucy. I don't know about this one. Okay, let's uh... Let's go back out here and... Oh. Um... Is this, is this working out fine for you? And everything to your satisfaction now? No way! Just look at that monster Ronnie sent me. Why, it's funny. Funny? He's much too big. He's scaly. Is it really asking too much to get a human masseur with powerful hands and no fur or scales? No. I told you it seemed almost too easy, you know what it is? The clown one actually works over, that's fine. But we probably more than likely have to swap that with this guy, like do a little bit of genetic uh, modification there, so that it's still funny over there, but then this guy gets his wish over here as well. Alright, so we should be cutting back in here, I think I got this down to what it should be. To give you a rundown though, the guy mentioned he didn't want any body hair scales, wanted a normal human build, so we have the human build here. No body hair. Um... I'm not sure if this matters, but we still need to keep the other one relatively funny for the show. So we keep him with the clown hat. We keep him the goofy face. And we'll keep him the polka dots, because polka dots are apparently funny. They're a clown necessity, right? So I think this works out for the most part. So let's uh, remove the levers here and see if my concoction actually works out. So let's go deliver the clown first since we're here. That would be... This one now, I think, right? The third one, yeah. Oh Bravo! my god. This is terrifying. And we hit the switch. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a terrible reptilian man. Okay. I don't know, he wanted something that didn't have any scales at it, it the human size, I suppose, so it's... Oh, jeez oh, Louise. What happened here? Hello? Oh, no. What? Oh, no, the little chickies. That's the first thing I noticed, right? What about it? Us birds, we stick together. The little birdies have been plucked. The animals are gone. There's apparently blood and gore all over the place. Am I responsible for this? I can't be responsible for this, can I? Yes! 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 Funny. They're all gone. Is this what happens when you play God, Falcon? And you mix DNAs up? Oh, man. Well, this is the problem. I needed those people alive. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't help but feel partly responsible for this. Uh... We couldn't get in there before. Hello? Anyone home? No! Go away! Aha! Uh -huh. I figured as much. So this is where you're hiding. Don't leave the door open! Quick, come in! Oh. Uh, ow! Oh. Man, it's tight in here. And blah, so slimy. Shh, they're still outside. Who's outside? Few locks. They're everywhere. How could this happen? Uh, yes, that's a mystery. But before we start running around making accusations, we should concentrate on the problem instead. You are right. There's an emergency terminal in the Council of Elders. But how will we ever get there? The route to the elevator is much too dangerous. Nonsense. It's all clear out there. No sign of... Ah, ah, I know a way. Ah! Oh, it's you. <laughs> Do you have to sneak up like that? W what are you doing anyway? I have found a ventilation duct that runs along the length of the lift shaft. It's not an easy ascent, but still better than the only other obvious alternative. We just have to somehow get this metal grate open. All the way up to the Council of Elders? I don't know. Help is sure to arrive soon. And we still have two hours of sauna time left. Alright, so I'm just hanging out in the sun here with a bunch of fat, old, sweaty men. Good times. Ah. 
This is like a little Finnish bro vacation, I would say. We have the ladle, we have the coal. This is a Finnish sauna right here, boys. Alright, well, uh, what am I supposed to be doing? No, I'll never get it open that way. Okay, we cannot reach back there. There's a bracelet here. Hey, do you think that's funny? Okay, so what does this accomplish? We attached a bracelet to his... Uh, to the grade? So maybe you could just pull it off? But there's no option to talk to him. Dude, come on, just pull it off. You're a huge man, you could be able to do it. Oh, we can interact with the beads of sweat. Oh! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. No. No es bueno. I just realized what the icon turned into. Sweaty hands from this guy's body. Oh, what do I need this for? To grab the coal? To grab the ladle? Can't get away! Oh, no. I think I know. You see how everybody's sweating but him? Yeah, I'm getting all slippery. Just not slippery enough to be able to get out of here, unfortunately. Oh, so this is a, a very, it's a very sickening scene. Very sickening. Okay. Can I reach for this lap? If only I were a, a bit more slippery. You're not slippery enough? Look at your, your arm is drenching this. It's like a lubricant. It's a lubricant of sweat. Oh, there's more of it here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Man, that's disgusting. Why are you guys okay with this? Why do you chuckle like you're the Pillsbury Doughboy when I roll the sweat off for your body? Alright, put that on as well. Oh. Ugh, doesn't get any more slippery than this. Okay. Um, we can now reach for that. Why you're asking? I have no idea. We have a towel? We have a coal? Am I going to make it more sweaty in here? Oh no, we just picked up the coal. Okay. Where does the coal go? Sal? <laughs> gonna put it this guy's down his- Oh! <laughs> Stop whining! There, the coast is clear! Yes. Well then, let's get out of here, fast! Oh, I love it. Just burned his balls off. Oh, I remember you. Everywhere. I turned into a sausage. Mrs. Zinkle. Quick, Mrs. Zinkle, run! No, not in there, not... There goes the waffle stall! <laughs> that was unpleasant. Where were you? <laughs> All hell's broken <laughs> loose! <sighs> We know that already! Quick! Activate the emergency terminal! Can anyone remember the codes? They're on a bit of paper in the emergency code drawer. Well remembered. Well, what's the code for the code drawer? Uh, yeah. Wait, I'll get it! I guess you could say that's my specialty. They found the sushi fountain! Okay, so we can move again. We believe in you! I... One thing I have forgotten, I will admit, is Get why on, we're trying to help these guys out. But now that they mention codes, I remember. We're trying to get the destruction codes for... To threaten Goal Come into on. not leaving. When, whenever we do the time loop. Because remember, we've done that time loop twice where we go back to when Go is leaving and we try to threaten her about blowing up Elysium ourselves with the destruction codes. We don't have them. Do so it. I guess this is how you get the codes. Okay. I just, I forgot completely why we were helping him out. It wasn't to just you be helpful. It. It's Rufus. It's to help himself out. Um, okay. So, uh, again, no, no tutorial. Come on. Thank you. I guess I'll just, just push stuff right now. They my... found the sushi fountain! Okay. Well, that worked. You are doing so, am I supposed to just job. get all of them down? Yeah. Two hours later. So 
I know. Oh, got it. Sweet. You could do it. That didn't take too long, actually. There. It's I ghosts. Have the code. Oh, we too got late. it. They're climbing up the walls. Quick, read it out. Okay, here we go. Alpha, alpha, gamma, gamma. This code is absolute hammer. They're coming through the elevator shaft. Gamma, beta, gamma, beta. Abort now instead of later. It doesn't work because that's the abort code. The correct one is on the other side. Ah! They've got my leg! Ah! 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 Quick! Wait. There. Alpha, beta, gamma, zeta. Not so quick! Not so quick! No! Don't go! For crying out loud. Oh, that's impossible! Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? A clone? Oh, the, uh... Yes, damn it! The service bots have an imaginary disease, and I'll take the stupid helmet for cleaning, too. Uh, uh huh. Uh, then you do that. And step to it. Okie dokie. <laughs> I like how he's just had enough, so he's just done responding in a, a cheerful, polite way. Um, okay, so did we get the codes, or did we get zapped back before we got the codes? I better have gotten those codes. I'm not doing all that stuff all over again. I imagine we probably got them, right? That's why it time looped me out. All right. Oh yeah, we got the timer. Okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, we got the the monster feedback. We're back too in the white key. Okay. Helmet interface recognized. Connecting to system. Okay, Ronnie. With my prime control, quote unquote daughter. Emergency bypass options have been added. To activate Elysium self-destruct, simply click on the totally cool <laughs> symbol. Your Elysium security protocol bluebird wishes you a wonderful day. Okay. Let's call it Plan P. P as in mm, only in case of emergency. Damn it. Why did I waste O on my plans for the weekend? <laughs> Okay. Should we just destruct it now, or do we gotta talk to her first? Go? Yes, who? Oh no. Dad, please don't go all Prime Controller on me. I told you, I'm going camping. Like hell you are! I know that you plan on accompanying Cletus to Deponia, but that's not gonna happen. You will stay here. Do you understand me? Uh, why should I? Okay, so now we can properly threaten her. We will blow up Elysium. Because otherwise, I'll activate the self-destruct sequence. You what? Okay, I am not able to take you seriously anymore. Do what you like. I'm not talking to you. What, you think it's silly to blow up an entire country planet just because my daughter won't pay attention to me? I think it's perfectly reasonable. Well, let's destroy it. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm initiating the self-destruction sequence, as promised. You wouldn't dare. Just watch me. Alpha, Alpha, Shooby Dooby, this code is absolutely... Hammer. Although, uh, wait, stop. Those were the abort codes. What's that you're muttering? Uh, uh, got it. Uh, alpha, Beta, Sha La La. Da 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 da. And done. Well done. You've activated self-destruct. <laughs> I'm a genius. You've got a wonderful 30 seconds to evacuate Elysium. If I had fingers, I'd cross them. Okay, this is crazy, Dad. Thank goodness I know you won't go through with it. Come on. <laughs> Just watch me. Turn it off. Dum de dum. I don't see you stopping the elevator. Okay, you win. I'll wait for you down there. And now abort! Nothing easier than that. 20 seconds and counting. Alpha, Beta, Epsilon. No, Decided. wait. Quick! It started with uh, Alpha. I already told you that I would stay. D don't rush me. 10 seconds. <laughs> Gamma, something, something is absolute burner. Nope. Hammer! <laughs> You're right there. Five, four. Oh, I know. Three, two, one. No, I guess they got it. Cletus? No. Wait, you are... Who the devil are you? Your future. But you can call me Rufus. Huh. 
Well, a fine future awaits me then. You nearly blew up Elysium. Not much better than what Elysiums have in mind for Deponia. What? You're Deponian? Then it's true. There is life on Deponia. Which makes the inspection tour obsolete. Quite the opposite. Deponia is inhabited. I've just got to see it. What for? You're already talking to the creme de la creme. The rest is... <sighs> yep, exactly. Like him. Another Deponian. Seen enough? Great. We don't have a lot of time to enjoy eternity. Or to break this vicious circle. Hey, nothing is getting broken around here. I'm on Elysium with gold. It can stay this way forever. What are you talking about? We have got into a time loop. If we don't do anything, this day will repeat itself for all eternity. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Wow, that sounds exciting. What can we do? Uh, fun zone? No, we have to go to Deponia. Yes. There's my chrono car. That's the source of the anomaly. A real adventure! Do I still have time to get my detective set? Are you crazy? We're not going anywhere. Oh no! The high boat! Right, that's settled. But... And they lived happily ever after. Without ever coming even close to anything resembling the end of time. I like how this is the original goal that we barely meet at the start of the Pony One. You know, the one that's very innocent, very happy, filled with a bunch of unbridled enthusiasm and childlike wonder. Adventure. Not the one that we eventually turn into a sour human being because of Rufus after a couple of games. But it's the one that's just filled with a bunch of, you know, high hope for the world. Alright, we'll soon, don't worry, we'll soon corrupt you out of that one as well. Um, what am I doing here? Speaking This is the first and probably last day of your life. Am I meant to be pleased about that? Yes, but please don't take too long. There are only 24 hours in a day. The clock is ticking. Why are there monsters in the elevator? I don't understand it either. That was in the last loop. They shouldn't be here. Holy moly! That's We're true. Be killed by fuel locks for eternity. Not if I will have been able to prevent it. <laughs> what? Um, Mechanical, how does this happen? Why are there fuel locks here now? I thought they they were in the last loop, weren't they? They, were, they destroyed everything in the last one. Good fuel locks. Nice fuel locks. Not at all hungry fuel locks. Oh, they're gonna eat us. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? No, I wanted to leave that to the few locks. Come on, shut that door. I'm scared of heights. Is it greater than your fear of being torn apart by few locks? Well, it's great enough for me to always carry a parachute in my backpack. A parachute? Did I say parachute? Pair of uh, shoes. Or a uh, parrot. Parachute. Ah, I don't even think of it. I mean, it's already, you know, Rufus is already used to falling off of high places anyway, so for him it's perfectly fine. I can understand McChronicle's thing, but then again, um, we're about to get torn apart. And now, jump. Hold on! No! Wait! Ah! Are we meant to be dropping so fast? It's the law of physics! This parachute was only designed for one person! Ah! Rufus? Rufus, are you all right? Nothing is all right. You and I, we once saved Deponia. Now, damn time machine, I thought we could make everything turn out even better without my having to plunge to my death in the end. But now, everything is worse. And the best I can hope for is to restore the old version. Elysium will fall, you'll hate me, or the Fulox will rule the planet. Sounds like we've been through a lot together. Oh yeah, you could say that. Then I've got good news for you. In this timeline, I don't hate you yet. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm finding this all very exciting. Time travel, few locks, parachutes, and the day has only just begun. If I think of everything that could happen tomorrow as well... But first there has to be a tomorrow. That sounds like an adventure. Then wash your ears. We don't even know where we landed here. How are we supposed to make it to Kuvak by this evening? 
so it's a bit tight. Who cares? It's not really a good reason to cower in a hole in the ground, is it? Just look at the Chronicle. He would never give up. Say what? But that's... that's... If there's one thing I never do, then it is... Give! Get? Give up. Who cares if Elysium is now infested with Fulox, or that we changed everything that was saving Deponia from demolition? The main thing is, I'm still alive. Nothing else matters. I wanted to go to Elysium? Check. I wanted to save the world? Check. Okay, it's been more saved. I, I admit it. But no one can force me to go through all that crap again. All I have to do is break this stupid time loop. Look to the future! That's the motto! Um, that's the right attitude, I think. So, which way to Kuvat? We like how we've gone full Groundhog's Day now. We gotta break the loop. Where the hell are we? <laughs> what is this place? Where are we falling to? Was well, longer Elysium, that much I could tell you. Well, unfortunately, we're way over time. I went a little bit extra longer here with this one just because it's been a while, so... Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. As I've mentioned, I'm trying to record this whenever I get some free time to do so, just because I really want to get this done. Not because I'm trying to get rid of it, but I just want to get it done because there's other adventure games that I want to play in the channel that I've been sitting on my desktop just waiting. But I can't start one of them until this is done because having too many adventure games doesn't really do too well. You know, I got to find the right one for you guys to, for the majority, I guess, of the viewers to enjoy. So, having multiples going on at the same time not really good, but there's a couple that I have waiting that I will have eventually you guys choose which one you want to see. But before, this needs to end. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Take out for the next whenever it does happen, hopefully soon. I'll catch you guys then.